Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on Autodesk Maya 2016. In this uh, video we're going to look at how to create some 3D shapes and how to um, move, scale and rotate those shapes as well as some of the different views that we can have um, in our workspace here. So to get started um, today we're going to look at two different types of shapes. We're going to look at polygons and NURBs. So on the left here I have a NURB selected and a NURB is basically made up of smooth curves. So NURB stands for non-uniform rotational B-spline and basically it's a shape that's made up of smooth curves. So that's a NURB. On the right hand side I have a polygon and a polygon is uh, a shape that's made up of flat faces that are put together. So you can see that there's a whole heap of faces that are put together and those faces faces are flat. So that's a polygon and that's a NURB. Okay, I can uh, grab the select tool and highlight or select those two shapes and delete them by pressing the delete key just to clear my space here and um, start creating some objects. So to get started I can click on create and then I can either choose NURBS primitives or polygon, polygon primitives to um, create a shape. So I'm going to create a NURB and I'm going to make a cone. So you can see there's a number of options here for both NURB and polygon. There's sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, etc. So I'm going to create a cone. I just click that and now I've got a cone there on my workspace. Um, so the default view that we have of this shape here is the perspective view. So the view that I'm in right now is the perspective view. If I want to see um, all four views, I can press the space bar. So I can see the top view, the front view, and the side view. So that's our orthographic views. Or I can see the perspective view as well. So I can see all four views here. If I want to go to the top view, I can click on the top view box and press space. And now I'm in the top view. I can press space again and click on the front view box and press space. And now I'm in the front view. If I press space again and click on side, then press space again. I'm now in the side view. So you can press space to see those four different views there and then just select the one that you want to go to. So now I'm going to click on perspective and I press space again and I'm back in perspective view. Okay, so the default view is perspective, but you can press the um, space bar to see the different views. All right, now there's three different tools that we can use to um, change the position, the size and the rotation of an object. And all three of those tools are here on the side. So to change the position of an object, we use the move tool. To change the um, rotation of an object, we use the rotate tool. And to change the size of an object, we use the scale tool. When we select an object, so I'm just grab, gonna grab the select tool, select this cone and then select the move tool. When we select an object, you'll see three different colors here, or three different colored arrows. And those three different colors con correspond to the three axes. So the X, Y, and Z axes. So um, the X axis here is in red. So if we click and drag that uh, handle there, we can move the object along the X axis. We can click and drag the uh, green handle here to move the object on the Y axis and the blue one to move the object on the um, Z axis. So we can click um, and move in one direction by dragging one of those colored handles. To move an object freely, we can uh, just click and drag the handle in the center to move it around freely. Okay, so um, we can do the same sort of thing with the rotation tool and the scale tool. So if we click on the rotate tool, you'll see the three different colors there and um, you can either rotate on um, the X, uh, the Y, or the Z axis. So just by clicking those different handles. Okay, or you can click on the actual shape in the center and rotate it freely by clicking and dragging the mouse around or the touchpad around. Okay, then there's also the scale tool. Now again, you can click on those three different handles and you can scale on um, one axis. Okay just by clicking those different handles. Or you can click in the center 
and you can scale it uh, uniformly. It's by clicking and uh, dragging and moving the mouse or the cursor backwards and forwards. So we can move, uh, we can uh, scale that uh, uniformly, or we can move and rotate freely by dragging the center handle. Otherwise, if we want to modify on one particular axis, then we grab one of those colored handles there. Okay, so that's how to move, how to rotate, and how to scale. Um, the last thing that we'll look at, uh, actually, we'll look at two more things today. Um, so if we select the object on the right hand side here, we can see the channel box and there's two parts to the channel box. So at the top, we've got the transform attributes. So we've got things like um, uh, the position and scale of the object. And then down the bottom here, we've got the shapes attribute. So underneath inputs, if we click on the shape, the name of it there, we can see things like the uh, radius there. Um, so we can see all of that there, all of the information about a selected object, we can see that there in the channel box. Okay, uh, last thing that we'll look at is a wireframe and the smooth shade view. So if we click on wireframe, we can see just a wireframe of the shape. And if we click on smooth shade all, then we can see this, the shape um, with smooth shading. The shortcuts for that are to press four for wireframe and five for shading on the keyboard. If you press um, the keys one, two, and three, then you'll see different levels of sh shading. So it doesn't actually change the shape, it just changes the level of shading. So one is, uh, oh sorry, level of smoothness. So one is not very smooth, two is um, slightly smoother, and three is very smooth. So the keys one, two, and three change the level of smoothness. All right, in the next tutorial, we'll have a look at how to um, select and manipulate individual parts of a 3D object. Thanks for watching.